Hello friends, Fagun Shah from Integration Lab here. So today I am here with another video which uh, is some kind of uh, data validation using Elementor Pro Forms and Google Sheet using Public Connect. Okay, so let me show you what I have exactly built. So there are many times that schools and tuition classes uh, or coaching classes uh, give results uh, via a portal okay they want to create a website where student can enter their enrollment number and they can see their result right on a particular date for example in india board results came uh, board results come on particular date and time okay so to do that uh, i have created a simple form setup okay uh, we have a google sheet ready made with enrollment number name email phone and uh, marks and this is just a dummy pdf but you can create dynamic pdf as well using another workflow right so this is the google sheet and we want to show this particular data or basically you can show any data uh, on the basically page on your website based on the user's enrollment number okay so let's do uh, let's check how it is done okay so first i will add enrollment number like this and as soon as i click on the send it will show me my marks and it will also give me the link to download the pdf okay and if we go in here you can see this is the number and 116191 and 163 okay so here is here are the marks so i am not very good at maths i think so but maybe computer is uh, not bad right <laughs> now there can be another possibility where user enters or student enters a wrong enrollment number right so in that case we want to show them a message that this is an invalid number kindly use the valid number and submit the form again okay so let me show you what will happen in that case so <clears throat> user enter one two three four five six which is a not a valid number as you can see in here but they will get another chance as well to go back to that particular form and submit the number again and if they submit a valid number for example this one 87 total is 173 okay so they will get 173 and that particular uh, certificate or uh, whatever type of result pdf you want to give them right so this is how you can set up a basic level of portal using Google for uh, sorry Elementor Pro forms and public connect with Google sheet help okay so let's uh, dive into it uh, that how we can set up this particular thing right and before that I just wanted to uh, tell you that if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to subscribe to my channel which is integration lab okay i will keep sharing automation use cases like this in future as well okay so now let's talk about another uh, use case scenario which can be possible with this particular type of setup so for example you want to <coughs> check if you deliver to this particular zip code or not right so you can do that kind of validation as well right for example you are running a lab okay where people uh, give their blood or uh, medical test uh, request or applications right in that case you can generate a unique number and give them a number so they can uh, go to their home and later they can directly check their results using that particular unique number and they will get the report pdf directly to download okay you do not need to send them you do not need to uh, message them email them anything they you just need to just uh, provide them a unique number and uh, that using that particular unique number they can download their uh, test results later okay so there can be many use cases uh, where you can use this kind of uh, data validation and uh, public connect okay so let's dive into this particular scenario what i have set up in this thing okay let's begin okay so first thing first that uh, we will need a google sheet with all the uh, result details and enrollment numbers in it right so this is that particular google sheet you need to set up okay then in the second step we need to create a 
page elementor page in your wordpress website where we have put a particular form which is actually submitting data to public connect by using redirect method now if you have previously set up any integration between elementor pro form and public connect you must have used the webhook but in this particular case we do not want to use webhook because we want to redirect user based on the data they have submitted okay so to do that to do that dynamical setup we need to use a redirect option instead of webhook to send data to public webhook okay so first you need to go to public connect create a new workflow and copy the webhook url okay and then come back to elementor pro form go to redirect and paste that particular uh, webhook url in here in the redirect and here will be the url structure so let me just copy this particular thing i will open a new notepad and okay so this part is called webhook url which we have kept uh, used from public connect okay so this question mark and everything after that is called url parameters okay and this is the url parameter uh, label which you can see in here public connect okay now this is a id of a, of a particular field in your elementor form for example in here if we click on the enrollment number and we go to advance you can see the id and here is the short code for that okay so you need to copy this particular short code from here and paste it at the end of your uh, uh, webhook url for redirect field okay i know it is a little bit confusion but Uh, confusing but it is a very important part of this whole setup okay so this should be the structure the webhook url then question mark then the label name then equal to sign and then the short code of a particular field you want to assign with this particular label you can add multiple uh, parameters as well there is no limits on that okay but just remember that you need to uh, set up particular short code for that particular form field okay so that is how this particular thing is set up right and once you do that and submit a test entry publi will capture data something like this okay then we are using a google sheets lookup spreadsheet row action right because we want to check if that particular enrollment number is available inside google sheet or not okay so we will uh, look up the column d yes this is the column d we are mapping the lookup value which we got from the elementor form okay and then if it is found it will return whole row data okay here you can see the it also return the row index as well now there can be two possibilities whenever someone enters or submit a form that that enrollment number is valid and it will return the whole row else it will not return the whole row because the data is invalid and it did not found anything in the lookup action okay so for that we use the router okay that if the result found then do this thing let's go into there and let's check the filter for that particular router so the we have selected the second steps result the row index you can see the row index does exist okay is is exist if the uh, row index is returned from the in the response it means the result does exist and then we want them to redirect to this particular url with all the data mapped in that particular url okay so what happens is whenever uh, let me open this thing whenever we click on the send it will send data to public connect and wait for the response from public connect side that where it need to redirect the user okay on which page they need to uh, it need to redirect the user okay so if it is a valid thing then it should show all the result okay 
in that case we have created one extra page okay with uh, basic text here is your result you can uh, make this page uh, as per your design there is no issue with that okay so first we added maths and then you can see here here is another text element heading element okay where i have choose the dynamic uh, data request parameter and if we click on this you can see i am using get and parameter name is maths now you need to pass this maths parameter in the url with question mark same as we did in the webook url in here okay so we are basically passing everything using the url parameter so here is the full thing so i am just going to copy so as you can see this is the question mark then we are passing the maths mark then we are n percent is to just uh, pass the second element okay second url parameter then we are passing the science marks okay you can see in here as well that maths is equal to then we will map the maths mark from the second step okay where it found the result then we will map the science marks then computer marks then total and then last will be the link and then you need to select the 301 mood permanently from the drop down okay at the end it will show the results result success and the final redirect url will be shown something like this okay now in elementor you need to do that for each and every uh, subject marks okay just like we did here for maths mark we need to do that for science as well we need to choose the dynamic data and then we need to use the get uh, request parameter and pass the exact same parameter name as the uh, as you are passing from public connect which is science okay here we are passing science you need to pass the exact same name in here as well same goes for computer same goes for total and same goes for the uh, link as well right so this is how the dynamic data will be populated inside uh, your elementor pro page okay i am saying pro because that dynamic data is only available in elementor pro version not in a elementor free version that is why okay now there can be another possibility where it did not find any result so for that we have created router 2 and if we go in there it says that row index doesn't ex exist is a condition okay obviously if you haven't find any data inside google sheet it means it won't return you the row index right and because of that we will be just redirecting them to a normal page which is this particular page where we have just typed the text as invalid enrollment number try with valid enrollment number okay and here we have just uh, put down the link of the page 1 where the actual form is okay if we go to here you can see that it will again ask for the enrollment number right so this is how the whole workflow is set up so if the result is not found it will automatically redirect user to this particular thing okay uh, we click on done and we will check again with one more data we will copy this particular thing 211 we go in here we paste the data now you can see that it is uh, waiting for publish response yeah it got the response and it will show you the data in here right so this is how you can uh, conditionally redirect uh, by validating the data or you can use even other steps as well in between you can use the api calls as well and everything you can do whatever you want to do okay and you can redirect user with that particular results on your own website okay so this is something very dynamical uh, things you can do with elementor and public connect okay so yeah let me know guys if you have any questions i am always uh, happy to help i am also a freelancer uh, automation guy okay so you can contact me for public connect and zapier integrations as well okay and we can do a consultation zoom call as well if you want and if you want to learn public connect i can give you one hour of coaching as well for public connect and basics of automations as well okay and if you want to go to through the free route then you can always subscribe to my channel and support me okay 
thank you and yeah let me know if you guys have any questions i will put the workflow link in the description of this particular video okay and if you guys have uh, encounter any problems let me know in the comments i will help you thank you bye